you guys, it's time for another Timu haul. And this one's gonna be a little bit different the way I do it. Um, if you are new here, hello, my name is Danielle. I'm so glad you stopped by to check out what I got because I know you're probably here for Timu, not for me. <laughs> and that's okay, but I hope you like what you see and will want to subscribe and stick around. Um, but yeah, Timu, if you don't know what it is, is an online marketplace where there are a bunch of different sellers who come together and team up, or well, Timu stands for team up, price down is kind of their, um, you know, slogan, if you will. And um, by being able to bring these marketplace, you know, people together in one marketplace, they cut down the costs of advertising and um, branding and things like that so that you can get these items for amazing prices. And I will tell you right now, you can find so many things on Timu that you can also find on Amazon, the Amazon sellers are selling for way more. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the things that I want to share with you for this video and we'll talk about it. So a couple really cool things about Timo before I show you these products is that first of all, I have had great experience with the shipping. Um, mine has been coming, this last order came in six days. I have never had more than eight days for an order to get to me, but they do have guarantees where if it takes longer than the date that they give you, they will give you a credit. I think it's $5. So um, that's pretty awesome. And I think too, probably just depending on where you're at, they are out of Boston and I'm in Michigan. And so I think maybe just the proximity, that's why they get to me faster than maybe some people over, you know, on the West Coast kind of thing. Um, but another really cool thing is if you have an issue, I had a bodysuit that arrived in my very first order and it had a little hole in it. Their customer service is so amazing. You go in for like returns and exchanges or whatever and take a picture of it and send it to them, they immediately said, here's your money refunded and go ahead and keep it. And I thought that was super awesome customer service and not having to mess with sending back the damaged item and all that kind of stuff. And so I am very happy about that. And um, so today I'm gonna show you some like beauty kind of self-care items is what we're doing today. This haul is PR. They did send it to me. They are not paying me to do the video, but they did send me the products for free. So just so you know that. And as with all of my other Timu videos or any other kind of video I do, I don't care if it's sent to me for free or not, I'm gonna tell you if something's not good. And so that is why I am going to show you all of these products in action so that you can see, we can find out together, is it worth it? Because it does not matter how inexpensive the price is if it's not a good product. Like, I don't wanna waste my money on something that I'm not gonna use. Even if so the first thing I will show you is this, I like it, it says fashion boutique on there. Not really sure why, because it's not really anything fashiony. But this, this is pretty funny, but my dad used to have something similar to this in the bottom of their shower. And I was like, ooh. And so when I saw these, so it's this, it's got little suction cups on the back and it's got all these little, you know, like, knobby kind of things or whatever you suction this to the bottom of your tub and you can use it to wash your feet and I'm like hello with summer coming and you know having the warmer weather and your feet being in sandals and stuff I like to make sure my feet are extra you know clean not looking crusty and ugh. and so I'm like ooh, that's gonna be so awesome because it gets in between your toes everywhere you know like sometimes it's hard with a washcloth to clean but this is going to be awesome. The other thing you can do with it, you can suction it to the side like of the tub or, you know, the wall and you can use it for your back. So if you're somebody who has, say you struggle with like having back acne and stuff like that, or back knee as we call it, <laughs> um, you can put this on the wall of your shower and use this to make sure you're scrubbing your back good. Or even if you're like, if you're somebody who works out regularly and you get all sweaty, it's hard to get to your back without some kind of you know, brush or something to be able to scrub your back. So you can stick this right to the wall and use it like that. I'm not gonna show it against my back, but I will show you what it's like stuck in the tub, washing your feet in it. So if you don't like feet, I hate feet. So if you don't like feet either, we can be friends. Um, but just to kind of give you an idea of how it works and we're gonna see, does it slide around? Do the suction cups actually grip to the bottom of the tub and keep it firm so that you can actually wash your feet well? Or, you know, is it no good? We're gonna find out together. I will also be putting the prices um, on the screen for everything. And um, you can find a lot of the same products for different prices because they're from different sellers. 
Also, there are different coupon things and stuff, which I will mention right now. If you are a new Timu user, I'm gonna give you a code that will save you 30% off of your order. So I'll have it on the screen here and down in my description box. Also, the link down there will take you to the site and that lets them know that I sent you over there. So um, I just appreciate that so much if you go through my link. Um, it doesn't get me money. Again, it just lets them know that I sent you. And so I am very appreciative if you use that link. So let's see if this works. So I was trying to figure out the best way to show this to you guys without having to like turn on the shower. I got hair stuck to my foot. That's the story of my life. Anyway, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I put water on this and I'm just gonna put a little of my uh, body wash that I use. And we are going to just see, I already suctioned it down. I guess maybe I should spread that out some. But we're gonna see how this works. If anything, I would say the one that my dad had, the little, I don't know what you call these little things, but they were longer. So they kind of go like between your toes more. So I would say I would like for it to be like that more, but you can also like just kind of, you know, turn your toes over like this. But otherwise, it is not moving anywhere and it feels dang good. It's like a little massage for your feet. Yeah, I'm impressed it's not moving anywhere. Like I'm grabbing with my toes to try to lift up and I, it's like, I think I could if I really, but yeah, it would take a lot of work. <laughs> so I say this is good, worth it, totally. I also forgot to mention a lot of things come in different colors too. Like this, you can get in several different colors. I just chose pink. So the next thing, comes in this little bag here to be able to use to put it in the washer. And then, we'll open it up here. And it is a bunch of, I can't remember how many there are, so I'll have to count them real quick. Oh, they're so soft. One, two, three, six, nine, 12. So there are 12. There are three pinks, three light blues, three light yellows, and three light gray. And um, I think these came in different colors also, to be honest with you. A lot of things do. But they are just a simple little reusable pad for like using, I will use this use this with micellar water on it to clear, you know, my eye makeup off and I clean my eye makeup off and I, and um, I love that they are reusable and can be thrown in this little bag and washed in the washer because I am really big on, I don't use makeup um, removing wipes like the disposable ones. I use makeup erasers or knockoff brands of them so that I can just wash them and reuse them and not be spending my money on reuse or on um, disposable wipes all the time. It's a waste of money to buy something that you're just throwing away constantly and also like creating that waste. So I definitely like things that are products that I can, you know, wash and reuse. And I've had several of them for years and they work fantastic. So I'm hoping that these will work out great too because I only have like two that a friend had sent me that were like smaller like this. And actually I think they're even a little bigger than this. But this will be the perfect size. One, you know, I can use one side for one eye, one side for the other. And so we will find out together how these work. Um, you know, if they do a nice job, they're very soft. And if they wash up well, if they dry well, that kind of thing. And actually I will wash and dry them before I use them because you should do that when you get something like this. So we will know right away, did they wash well? I, I'll probably lay them out to dry, to be honest with you. And then um, we will see together how they do with taking my eye makeup off. So I'm really excited to have those. I've wanted something like that for a long time and just haven't done it. So when I saw that there was an opportunity to get them um, in PR, I was like, heck yes. And again, you can't beat the price. So let's see how they wash up and how they work. Okay, it is the end of the evening as evidenced by my extremely oily face. <laughs> I went ahead and washed this in the washing machine in the bag. I actually have to say the bag became softer after washing and it's kind of nice, it was easier to open. Um, and then I washed these all inside in a stack like this. Now, obviously when I use them, you're not gonna be able to do that because then it's not gonna clean it good. So I'm gonna have to figure out, I probably will have to actually use like a bigger laundry bag um, for that and just kind of store the ones in here. But in any case, these came out absolutely perfect. I initially laid them out to dry and then decided, you know what, I am gonna throw them in the dryer for a few seconds and just to help dry them faster. 
and I don't see that it changed anything. They're super soft. What they remind me of is like a baby washcloth. That's what the material is like. So I have some micellar water here and we're just gonna go ahead and use it to take off my makeup. So I did not wash them with um, fabric softener. You don't wanna do that with things like your makeup eraser type things and stuff because then it kind of repels the liquid a little. So here's what we're doing here. It's super soft. I do have a tubing mascara on, so that's why you'll see flaky things happening. But yeah, it's very, very soft, which I really like. And it seems to be doing a fantastic job. I don't know why I wouldn't, but I'm really excited about these because I know they're gonna be great to use and then I can just wash them and reuse them and not have to keep buying the little cotton pads. And I hate buying the expensive ones because it feels especially wasteful to me, but then the less expensive ones leave little fuzzies all over. And I'm like, well, that's not good either. So this is a perfect way to remedy that. So I say these are a win. Now I will say if there's one complaint with the packaging is the way it comes in a bag like I showed you, um, sometimes things that are in boxes like this get all smashed up like the box does. I had one other thing, it was a fabric shaver that I had in a different um, Timu haul, which I will link my Timu playlist up here if you're interested in checking out what I've got in other um, hauls. But that box was kind of messed up too. So if you wanted to give this as a gift, that wouldn't be the greatest thing, right? So that's the only complaint I would say with, I haven't had anything come damaged, but just that the box is a little bit, you know, chewed up, I guess. So this is a colorful egg humidifier. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you, I have a really hard time. I'm a migraine sufferer and several things can set it off. It's usually hormonal, but I also have issues with like, if I don't sleep on a certain pillow and my neck is weird, that will do it. Or if I'm sitting in a certain place turned for a long time, that will set me off. And a huge one is being in hotel rooms, and I'm pretty sure it's because of how dry they are. So, um, I am very excited because I was like, you know what, and we're going on a cruise next year for our anniversary, I'm like, I need a little tiny humidifier that I can just put on the nightstand next to me that will give some moisture to the air to help me out. So, this is what we got. There were different colors of this. I chose the white and gray one. I just wanted something, you know, kind of neutral. So I'm gonna open it up and show you because inside here is the USB cable and it's just like this you can see here and I think I don't want to take this off right now that'll tell me but yeah I think you can change the little filter things that come in there but you just put the water in and put that on and you have it plugged in and hit the little button and I it lights up I believe let's see does it tell me yeah, there's um, a spray operation, there's nightlight operating, um, it has burn proof drying so it automatically shuts off so that once the water gets low it doesn't try to keep running and burn up. And so um, I thought that would just be absolutely perfect for taking to hotels and stuff like that where I need to be able to have some sort of moisture in the air next to me. So we are going to try this out together and see how it works. Um, and it does tell you for the first use to take out the swab rod and um, soak it in water for one to two minutes, then install to use. So I have turned it both ways in the water and we'll put it back in and hook it back into here so that that is wet um, for starting. So hook it that there. And then we'll put this on and you just kind of twist it onto it. Um, you can see here the cord is not very long I, fortunately I have a plug right here in the wall or an outlet but just so you know it is not long um, and you're gonna plug this end in here turn it around because that's the front and then I'm gonna plug it in you can see that it's got power because it lit up like that for a second and then um, the spray operation says to turn the power on um, Touch the button to turn the continuous spray mode. Okay, so you can see it there. Very nice. And then um, if you click it again, it goes to intermittent spray. 
So it will um, spray for four seconds and then sat for six seconds. As you see there. And then if you click it a third time, it shuts off all of it, okay? And then um, for the nightlight operating, so let's go ahead and just, I'll put on the continuous spray. But then for the nightlight operating, you press and hold the button for two seconds to turn on the nightlight. And now you can see that it's on. Okay, I just shut it off. It was already on. <laughs> um, and then you press and hold. Yeah, and then it said press and hold to turn it off. So basically you press and hold it to turn it on and off. And then I don't see though if you wanted to make it different colors. I think it just changes colors. So you can see that it's changing color right now. Um, but yeah, it's got a really good mist on it. So perfect for being just next to you, you know, on a bedside table or whatever. Like I said, I will use it um, in hotels and then like on our cruise and stuff because I need that moisture. So let me shut it off and you can see it with, but it's got a really nice spray. Um, I'll shut this light off and you can kind of just better see the colors. It's daytime, so I mean, that's kind of light in here, but, but yeah, so it changes the different little colors. But if you don't want that to be like that, you just hold this and it goes off. Because when I'm sleeping, I don't want colors. I don't want any kind of light when I'm sleeping. So that's perfect if you don't want light. But if you want it, you know, just for that little ambiance, then you can have it on. So super cool. Press it again, press it again, and it's off. And now for the grand finale for this haul. <laughs> I am so excited about this. I cannot even tell you. So I have thin hair. Right now it's curled. I mean, I blow dry it like all over the place to try to give it some volume and stuff like that and, you know, product and stuff. But I have to work hard to give my hair any kind of volume. And um, I had seen this product. I saw um, someone who has a YouTube channel that she does a lot of things about thinning hair. Um, she used this particular product to give some... Um, volume at the roots of her hair and I was like that's amazing and she said she had um you know a code for a certain percentage off so I'm like I'm checking this out like I need this in my life right well then when I went and looked at the website even with her code and saw what the price of it was I was like <laughs> I don't think so it was well over a hundred dollars I think it was in the, like the 150 range I don't have that in my budget and so when I saw that Timu had like the same type of product for ridiculously significantly less, I nabbed it. And so it is, this is like what the box looks like, which doesn't tell you anything there, but, but let's check this out. And I'm not gonna say the name of the product. Oh look, comes with a little clip, which this is the perfect size for my thin hair. Oh yay, I didn't even know it came with that. Well, that's exciting. It comes with two. All right, so you get the two clips here alligator clips you get the comb which is awesome I love combs like this and you get a little uh, user manual here that tells you how to use it sweet and then here we go I am so excited about this and I can't wait to use it and show you guys because even if you don't have super thin hair if you just want a lot of volume like this would help you, but if you're a thin haired girl and you're always on the search for something to help you out like I am, here, I'm hoping this is going to be our thing, right? So first of all, there were different colors you could choose from. There was um, pink, were there pink and gray and green? Maybe it was just pink and green, but I loved this green color. I thought it was so cool. It's like a metallic, like kind of teal, but almost emerald. I don't know. So I can see there's a button here where it locks. So if you push this, it will open up. And you can see the little teeth in there are kind of like a copper color. And it has a digital display for your power and your temperature. You can change, you know, adjust your temperature, which is super huge, especially when you have thin hair. You do not want to be putting too much heat on your hair. I mean, you don't want to anyway, but especially when you have thin hair and it's extra like fragile. But basically what happens is these little teeth you use so you would section off part of your hair. You take your top layer and kind of clip it over with the little clips that they give you. So you can section off with this and clip with this. And then you're gonna take this 
and you're gonna lightly crimp along at the top of that next layer, then you're gonna put this other layer back down and it's gonna give you volume at the roots. So we are gonna use this together. We're gonna see how this works. It feels nice and sturdy. And I love that it has like the digital display like that. I love that it has the lock. It's nice for storing it. Um, what else do I have that has that? Oh, I have like a waiver that has that same kind of thing so you can lock it so it's not taking up a bunch of space when you're storing it. So that's awesome. And it's got a nice swivel cord. Super cool. And I love that they give you the little uh, like cord keeper thing like that to keep it all contained so you're not just having cords everywhere. So this is what I'm super excited about. Let's check out how it works. And, but before we do, I just want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please let me know what you think of these items that I showed. And of course, you know, you'll know by the end because I will say during the time that I'm recording using each thing, um, I will let you know my thoughts on them and all that good stuff. And um, I'm excited to hear what you guys think of what I got. And I'm excited now to go use everything and see how it all works. So thank you again. Thank you to Timu for sending me out these products. And um, you guys definitely check it out. I mean, for gifts, for things for you. I, they have everything for pets, for kids, um, you know, clothes. I love the clothes. Um, shoes. I definitely want to try some shoes. Um, definitely household stuff, you know, your kitchen things and stuff for your bathroom and obviously beauty stuff. They have makeup, which I haven't tried any makeup yet either. And I definitely want to do that. Jewelry hair, you know, accessories, anything you can think of, basically, you can find on there. So definitely check it out. And um, again, the link and code and all that stuff will be down in my description box, easy for you to find. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye. It's just a little um, instruction manual they gave you. And it gives you optimum temperatures for different types of hair. So for vulnerable, soft and thin, normal and coarse and hard hair. Um, and so the vulnerable range is 120 to 140 and the soft and thin is 140 to 160. So I figured I would go the top of the vulnerable, which is the bottom of the soft and thin at 140. So that is what I went ahead and did here. This heats up super fast. I cannot believe how fast and you can see the display temperature right there. And so I'm going to go ahead and take my hair right now. It's um, leftover curl from yesterday. So um, if you're like, wow, girl, nice hair, um, that would be why. But I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this top section here. Just separate that out. And I'm gonna pull it over and clip it. Now that was the comb that was included with this and the alligator comb. And then I'm going to take the section of hair right here. I'm gonna unlock this tool and basically you just do kind of a hold there for a second there we go and it gives if you can see here the texture that it gives to the hair right there and then I'm gonna grab that and clip it over I could probably clip it in the same one, but I'll just go ahead and use the other one. I'm going to go ahead and do this section as well. Just to give it some oomph. Now, something I will note, it's very easy to hit the temperature buttons when you're using this. So it's like you kind of have to make sure your finger in a place where you're not hitting it because I actually lowered the temperature um, last time. So... Just keep that in mind. I'm doing like a, kind of like a 10 second, um, you know, hold on that. Okay. So let's undo that. And see here, can you see how my hair has this lift over here where the side is flat? So I'm already excited about that. So let's go ahead and do the side. I'll speed through it. Do you see that? 
oh my gosh, that made a huge difference. Okay, so I'm also going to do it at the back of my head because that's definitely an area that I know needs some help. <laughs> so at the crown, basically. So this definitely has given great volume here, but like natural looking, it doesn't look like obnoxious. And I have to be careful too, because of how thin my hair is, if I do too much volume, it makes this part stand out and it shows how thin it is here. So it has to be just at the roots because otherwise, like I said, it's if it's down here further, it makes this all like separate out and you can see like just how thin through my hair is. So I think this is a total win. My only complaint, if you will, would be how easy the buttons are to push when you're using it. So I have to be mindful of putting my finger kind of up on the display window when I'm doing it. But other than that, super easy to use. It looks great. You can't even tell where I did it. And yeah, I think this is going to be a total game changer. So I'm excited to try it when my hair is um, straight too. So um, watch in a future video when I have my hair straight, I'll tell you like if I used it because I definitely want to try that out. But for now, I'm loving it. Thank you.